The items you'll receive to be able to take up the Chromebooks is a container where you'll store all the Chromebooks for your homeroom, and then that comes back to us in the Media Center. You'll get storage bags for each student to put their Chromebooks in and seal them up, and you'll have a homeroom list that lists all of the homeroom students along with their Chromebook and charger numbers that are checked out in their name. Your homeroom sheet lists student name, the Chromebook number assigned to them, their charger number, and then if they have a strap checked out in their name, it will list the number, but most do not have their strap. If they have a summer rental, if they've signed up to summer rental, um, that will be marked here. If it's blank, they haven't signed up, and it's past the deadline to sign up for that, so they cannot um, go ahead and decide to do a summer rental now at this point. And then there's a, sp there's a space for notes here on the side if you need to make any notes. So to find um, this Chromebook number and make sure it's the correct one, if it's the correct one you'll just do a check, correct charger number check if they returned their case, and then if there are any notes required, and I'll go over that in a second. To locate the Chromebook number that's listed for their name, it is on the bottom of the Chromebook. Um, this blue tag right here will match that number. If it does not match, please make a note over here. So they may have they have turned one in, but it's not the correct number. So maybe put a star or some other indicator and put a note out here for us to take a look at that and see what what may be going on, why they don't have the same number. Um, for the charger, most of them are cataloged by their serial number, so it would be this long number here. We are aware that a lot of these have faded, so if you can get, if you can match up enough letters or numbers somewhere in there that you feel it's a, a match, go ahead and check it off. But then please put in the notes that it has worn off and hard to read so that we can change out the sticker on that. Um, some that have already been changed out, they'll have a shorter number, like this student here um, has a shorter barcode number, and so we'll put a different barcode on there so it's easier to read for the future. So if you'll please make a note of that as well. Um, straps, if they do happen to have the strap number, the straps have these little tags um, and you would just check off. Now, a lot of these have fallen off and we are not overly concerned with the straps because so few students have them. So basically, if it shows that they should have a strap because they've got a number checked out in their name and they have one, go ahead and check it off even if this tag has fallen off. For the case returned, the 10th and 11th grade students had the option this year to buy one of those colored cases. Um, so some of them did return this black case to us already. And we have a note in their file. It's not noted on this paper. Um, so if they say they've already turned it in, we may already have a note. Um, and maybe you can just put a note for us so we can cross-reference that. Some of them, I think, have purchased the other case and then never brought this one back to us so they may have lost this one at this point or they may have both cases on it and they can turn both in if they want um, to just keep over the summer. Um, so this is just basically a check um, if they have the black case. This is not for the color case for 10th and 11th graders because this is the case they were issued and this is the case they have to return to us. Um, and if they don't have the black one, just please make a note over here for us. Once the student's Chromebook and charger are checked off, they then need to put it into their case. And they should already have their name in this pocket based on the video that they saw about how to prepare. But if not, please make sure their name is in there. And if they don't have the card that was issued to them to put their name, they can just tear off a piece of paper. Um, and then it needs to go into the Ziploc bag that you, um, you have enough of for each student. These can be a tight fit for these black cases, but they will zip up. And so we need the, the Chromebook case and charger in here. Preferably 
with the name clearly visible even with the charger in there. Um, and then please make sure these are completely sealed up. We are trying to, um, you know, some of these cases do have an odor since they're fabric. Um, if the student is a smoker or they live in a household with people that are smokers or for various other reasons they might smell bad. So we're trying to um, prevent other students in the same homeroom that are left in the bin all summer from smelling the um, or obtaining the same odor. So please make sure those are completely sealed. Those will then go into the bin that you've been provided along with this homeroom sheet.